Good morning. Can a good God approve of wickedness? Today we're in Jeremiah 15, verses 1 and 2. Then the Lord said to me, Even if Moses and Samuel stood before me, my mind would not be favorable toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall be, if they say to you, Where should we go? Then you shall tell them, Thus says the Lord. Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Moses and Samuel interceded to God for the people. Some of the most famous intercessions in the Bible are the words of Moses. But God here states that even if it were Moses, even if it were Samuel interceding for the people to him, he would refuse. Is God subject to rages and whims? He's, he's not an on-again, off-again God. He's consistent always, all the way through. Something else must be different here. Now, there's a difference between the situation in the time of Moses and the time of Samuel, in this time in Jeremiah's time. There are differences in accountability and responsibility. Remember, in the time of Moses, the people were just coming out of hundreds and hundreds of years of bondage under heathenism. And so there was a lot of educating. There was a lot of ignorance. So with Samuel, they were coming out of the time of the judges. There was a pretty severe reaction by God against them, but still God was, was also giving them a little bit of space because they were coming out of a time of, of tremendous chaos. In Jeremiah's time, it's not that way. In Jeremiah's time, the nation's been around hundreds of years. They've had uh, prophets, kings, priests, the whole priesthood should be working and functioning right. The people had the scriptures, some of the scriptures. They, they had very little uh, space to say to God, we didn't know what we were doing, please excuse us. In Jeremiah's time, the people were much more intentional and determined in their resistance to God. So God says, if even if Moses and Samuel were interceding, referring back to those events, that's not all applicable in the same way. And that brings us to our time. What about our time? How are we, how responsible, how accountable are we? And can we rely on some of these kinds of arguments? Sorry, God, we were just kind of unaware. Please forgive us. Is that going to work? So today we have the, the all the Old Testament books, all the New Testament books. We've got another a couple of thousand years, basically, of, of time after that. Church study, very careful study, remarkable uh, depth of hermeneutics, you know, comparing Scripture with Scripture. We have the whole testimony of the Bible about how to do that and how to do that in a way that's very sound and biblical. Under the full blaze of this gospel glory, how many excuses, you know, with all of our tomes of scholarship and all the study and PhDs in our religion departments, how accountable are we? I think we're pretty accountable. I don't think we're going to be able to use some of these arguments like, Oh, sorry about that. We were just under people who were worshiping dung beetles and we didn't know any better. That, that's not going to fly. How are, are, we're, we're accountable for that too, aren't we? You know, for being aware that, that we're reading out of the sewer pipe, you know, some of this fake things all over the headlines. I think we're pretty accountable and pretty responsible. So we want to come to ourselves and say, Lord, please help us to be people of the book. Help us to know what the Bible says. We may not know what the latest thing, you know, online is, the latest news item is going to be on the news tonight, but I hope we know something about what the Bible really teaches. We've got to put it in here. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be faithful people. In the judgment, we'll all be coming uh, individually. Our cases will come to you individually, Lord. We won't be able to say, well, sorry, you know, we we were all just oblivious. We'll, we'll be personally responsible. Lord, help us to be students of your word. Help us to be uh, recipients of your Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, to be men and women, godly men and women of prayer. Please, Lord, help us uh, to be faithful. Help us to be active in our local church congregation, uh, living and growing spiritually, helping others to grow. So, Lord, these are things that, that we know we'll be accountable for. Help us to be right. Help us to be more like Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God give us eyes to see and ears to hear, and may we be his agents. May we return from the land of crazy. Let's be people of the word. God be with you today as you serve him.